as a, a warrior of God. I say today you'll come out of here as a warrior of God. for the last time. Brother, I want to tell you, the land you got is your land. <coughs> you know, these people that are fighting about this land, they won't win. <coughs> Jesus will win. Mama, come here, come here. Don't, don't, don't leave your job now. She must not leave her job now. Yes, prophet. You hear me? Yes, Do, don't leave your job now. Amen, prophet. You hear me? Amen. Uh, there will be a time where you leave, but not now. Amen, prophet. Uh, right now, work, but also spend time on prayer. You are hearing because you are feeling like uh, this job is disturbing you. It's disturbing me a no? lot. A lot she has been <laughs> complaining. Now I want to tell you, don't, don't leave now. She must not leave now. Yes, prophet. Uh, when a time to leave comes, we'll tell her to leave. Amen. But as for now, she must work. Uh, she must work and pray. Because this lady, already there are things that God is starting to show her now. Too much. You know, she's starting to tell you some visions. Yes. That she see. Yes, true. Uh, she must not rush to say those visions to anyone. Yes. She must pray. Mama, when God show you visions, don't rush. Don't rush those visions. You, you tell people, no. A vision. Can I tell you what is the meaning of a vision? When, a God, when God gives you a vision, it's for you to pray more. Amen. It's not for you to share with people. There will be a time where you have to share with people. But right now, a vision to you, God is saying, pray. And when you pray, another one will come. When the, another one comes, you pray more. In fact, God is trying to draw you close to him. You know, it, it becomes easy to be close to God when there's visions. Amen. You hear me? Yes, the more you see a vision, you pray. You see another one, you pray. You see, it's not for you to share. The reason why people cannot go far with the hearing from God is rushing. The minute you see something, you want to tell everyone, hey, I saw this, I saw this. You realize well, that was the last vision you'll ever see. I'm sure you are hearing me, church. Amen. It makes sense. Yes. When God, because there are many visions God wants to give to this woman, but the meaning of a vision is to pray. In fact, God gives you a vision so that you pray to be taken to another level. But the minute you say out that vision before time, God will fail to show you more. You know? I can give you an example. I see visions every day. But there's no one I can say, I go to, to everyone and say, I'm seeing this. Ah, don't do that. I realize, oh, God is drawing me to prayer. I need to pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. When I'm praying, he show me another one. I pray. I pray. I pray. He showed me another, I pray, I pray. Can you see? Yes. You are growing, growing, and growing, and growing. In the spirit, there are levels. You, you are hearing me? In the spirit, there are levels. I'll tell you why. When the disciples went to cast out a demon, they, when they came back, they said, hey, we failed. What did Jesus say? He said, this one... It's what? If there can be ranks 
in, in, the, you know, in, in the side of darkness, there's also ranks on the side of God. God uh, Jesus said, this one you are casting, it's another kind. He was trying to say, this one you are casting is on top of you. That was the message he was giving to them. The demon you want to cast out is bigger than you. So now, same thing applies to the spiritual side of us. There are levels. Level, level one, this, that. You go up, you go up, you're going up. Your faithfulness is taking you there. You can never finish God. You can, if we can have one level of spirituality, God will be very small. And God will be limited. God wants to lift you, Mama, and your husband. Come, sir. God wants to lift you. You're free, you're free. This thing that, that, that is called spirituality is very deep than what people are thinking. You know, that's why they say you, you, when you're in on the dark side, you, say, you sacrifice this, you're on this level. For you to come here, you have to do this. Sometimes they say, kill your mother. It's because you have to be taken to another level. So now, same thing applies to us on this side. You pray like this, God takes you here. You pray and committed, you humble yourself, you do all these things, God takes you to another level. There are levels. If there's no level, God was not going to tell Aaron and Mary and say to them, I speak with prophets and what, what, with visions and dreams. But when I speak to Moses, nine, nine, levels. T tell your neighbor that there are levels. You need to pray to be promoted. If you fail to pray, don't envy people that are on top of you. Because why are you failing to pray? Pray so that God can lift you up. Jesus, before he died, there are things that he didn't do. But after he resurrected, Listen, after he resurrected, he could, could go through a wall like this. Levels. You need, listen, wait. You must go through something for God to promote you. As much as the enemy can promote his own, his own God can also promote us. You are ready to be promoted this year? Yeah. Are, are you ready to be promoted? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Level, level. Say amen.